What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here, and in this video I'm going to show you every way to stun an unstoppable champion in Destiny 2. Now way back when champions were introduced, the only way of stunning a champion was with certain artifact mods. There were no exotics with intrinsic unstoppable capability. Some of the first exotics to get this power were Devil's Ruin and Leviathan's Breath, so you were basically stuck with using whatever artifact mods were available for a given season. So in the case of this season, that would be Unstoppable Scout Rifles and Unstoppable Glaives from the Medieval Champion perk. In the past, if you wanted to stun an Unstoppable Champion, you basically had to use one of these two weapon classes. But over time, more and more exotics gained intrinsic ways of stunning all types of champions. And then in Lightfall, Bungie added one of the greatest changes to the game in terms of build crafting and build flexibility, intrinsic stunning capabilities tied to our 3.0 subclass verbs. So in this video, I'm going to break down every single way to stun an unstoppable champion. And oh boy, there are a lot of ways. So before we go any further, let's talk about the changes that Bungie made. If we hover over the unstoppable icon on the character menu, it shows all the ways to stun an unstoppable. So from our subclass verbs, we have the blind effect from arc, the ignition effect from solar, the shatter effect from stasis, and the suspend effect from strand. We also have gear with unstoppable traits, certain weapon perks, and artifact mods. The video will be broken up into four main sections, exotic weapons, exotic armor, intrinsic weapon perks that activate subclass verbs, and abilities. These will all be timestamped below so you can better find out the information you're looking for. But if you want to see every possible way to stun an unstoppable, then just watch the video the whole way through. Unstoppable has by far the most ways of stunning, and the testing alone for just this enemy took me 8 hours, let alone cutting it all together for the video which is far longer. So if you find this video helpful, leaving a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. I did extremely thorough testing and tested everything that was theoretically possible, so hopefully I didn't miss anything. At the end, I will also include some things you think might work, but that do not. So let's get started. We'll start with exotic weapons. Some have intrinsic unstoppable built in. This means that they can always stun a champion. We will start in the kinetic slot and work our way down. So first up is Bastion. Simply charge up the shot, and when you land your burst, it will stun an unstoppable. Next we have Malfeasance. Shooting an enemy will infect it with a taken slug. Once you shoot 5 slugs, the slugs will detonate and stun an unstoppable. This pairs extremely well with Lucky Pants on Hunter which buffs hand cannon damage. Additionally, if multiple teammates use this weapon, you will stun an unstoppable after 5 total shots. So one teammate can shoot 2 shots, and you can shoot another 3, and this will cause the detonations to go off and stun the champion. Next we have the exotic sidearm Devil's Ruin. This one has a charged up high powered laser similar to charging a fusion rifle. When you shoot the beam, it will stun an unstoppable. Next we have the absolute champion killer, the Leviathan's Breath. This thing has gotten a few buffs over the years and now it is very strong. It now does extra damage to champions, has archer's tempo when you have the catalyst, as well as holding more ammo, and perfect draws apply volatile. Trust me, this thing slaps and as long as you cock it back the entire way, then landing the arrow will stun an unstoppable. Additionally, it does initial impact damage and a delayed detonation so that you don't miss out on damage from the first shot, which was a big detriment to using this weapon when it first launched, because unstoppables take 70% less damage until they are stunned. And that is it for the weapons with intrinsic stunning capabilities, but we have a lot more that take advantage of subclass verbs that we talked about earlier. So we use these weapons to take advantage of Shatter, Ignite, and Blind. The new Raid Shotgun Conditional Finality can actually freeze and ignite. So regardless if you have one or two in the mag, as long as you land your pellets, you will be able to stun an unstoppable. Egger's Scepter with the Catalyst has Will Given Form which uses your super and absolutely shreds. This will slow and freeze targets over and over, allowing you to melt an unstoppable. Additionally, if you shoot enemies next to an unstoppable, it will freeze it, and then you can shatter the freeze to stun it. This is less reliable though, as you need enemies around the target. We have the Cryosthesia 77k sidearm. When you get a regular kill, you have a liquid nitrogen shot ready. Hold reload to charge a shot, and you will shoot a freezing burst that can freeze the champ. Then simply shatter the ice to stun it. Once again, this can be somewhat unreliable if you don't have an enemy around to get a kill on to proc the freeze shot. Touch of Malice is capable of stunning an unstoppable, so long as you land some crits first. Landing crits allows you to shoot a blight wave, and this will stun the unstoppable. It also weakens the enemy to damage from weapons of sorrow, so once it's stunned, you can just lay into it with touch of malice, though you may die because of the damage you take. The last one in the kinetic slot is the new stasis bow Verglas Curve. 
As long as you have gotten at least one kill with it, you will have a hail barrage that you can hip fire to form stasis crystals and freeze the champ. And then, like with all freeze, just shatter it and it will stun. Moving on to the energy slot, we have two solar scout rifles. The first and more reliable one for stuns is the Polaris Lance. Landing consecutive crits will cause a solar explosion. You can land these pretty rapidly, and you never have to reload if they are crits. This will cause multiple explosions to stack up Scorch, and eventually cause the champion to ignite and stun. Skyburner's Oath works in a similar manner. Shoot the enemy from the hip to stack up Scorch stacks. Eventually, with enough stacks, the champion will ignite. Ember of Ashes can be used to apply more Scorch stacks to allow for quicker ignitions, and in my testing, it took one full 20 shot clip with Ember of Ashes on to get an ignition. Speaking of using Ember of Ashes to help with stacks, you can use Prometheus Lens to stack up Scorch on a target and also eventually cause an ignition. This method chews through ammo quite a bit as it takes about one full mag of 100 shots to get an ignition, but it is a viable option. Sunshot can also apply Scorch, but only through getting kills on targets and spreading the Scorch. It does not apply Scorch directly like it does on Skyburner's Oath or Prometheus Lens, so it is extremely unreliable but I'm throwing it in here because it is technically possible. Now we move on to the heavy slot. First up we have 1000 voices. It doesn't state it on the weapon, but this weapon now applies Scorch. You can get a stun if you land the entire beam without Ember of Ashes, but if you want ease of use and consistent stuns, then you will want to run Ember of Ashes to make it a little more forgiving and always get the stun on your first beam so you don't waste a bunch of ammo. That being said, 1k can only hold 7 shots and your whole first shot is doing drastically reduced damage to get the stun, so it's not the best option. Next we have a weapon that no one uses, the Queen Breaker's Bow. This weapon has a slow and fast firing mode, and either one can stun a champion. Though for ammo economy purposes, I would run the slow firing high damaging round if you decide to use this. Next we have another arc heavy weapon that causes blind, and that is Grand Overture. This weapon only blinds in its missile form but you just need to land one regular shot to have a missile ready, and then you can shoot the missile and stun a champion. Pro tip here, in watching my footage back, you want to tap fire your missile so to speak. You just want to shoot one off to get the stun, and then unleash the volley. If you just hold down the trigger, a lot of your shots will count for the 70% less damage because it takes a bit for the champ to actually be stunned and lose its damage resistance. So if you have a whole volley of 20, shoot as few as possible for the stun, and then launch your missiles all at once once it is clearly stunned and it will delete the champ, especially next season when Arc Surge is likely to return. Next we have Two-Tailed Fox. This weapon can apply Scorch to targets. It takes two rockets to ignite a target, but I do not recommend stunning an unstop with this. You will waste two rockets minimum just getting the stun, and sometimes they may even dodge your shot. And the Scorch will wear off because this weapon has a slow rate of fire. So yes, it can stun, but no, I don't recommend it. We have a total meme weapon next in the Salvation's Grip. This weapon is trash, but it can be used to freeze targets, meaning it is capable of stunning unstoppables. And lastly, that brings us to the new exotic glaive, Winter Bite. If you have ammo loaded in this weapon, then melee damage will be increased and it will apply slow stacks. One combo usually applies enough slow to freeze, and then once you shatter, it will stun the champ. The glaive projectile also will freeze targets and deals pretty good damage. Lastly, it also works with the Medieval Champion perk to give Glaives Unstoppable, just like a regular Energy Glaive. And that is it for the exotic weapons that can stun Unstoppable Champions. Next, let's look at the exotic armor. The most reliable option is probably Athras' Embrace, as you just need to hit crits on the unstop beforehand to charge up your strengthened heavy knife. And you can use Gambler's Dodge to pretty much always have a throwing knife charged and ready. Then just hit the champ with your strengthened knife and you will stun it. The next option is the Titan chess piece Horfrost Z which turns your Titan barricade into an ice shield. The stasis crystals can freeze the champ just like a glacier grenade. Next is another set of hunter gloves, the Caliban's Hand. I included it here because it is kind of all about getting ignitions and normally the proximity knife does not apply scorch but it does when you wear these. So you can pretty reliably get an ignition off if you're wearing these. I'm including the Cadmus Ridge Lance Cap on Titan. Technically, it is just Diamond Lance that does the freezing, so you could just file that under an ability stun, but because it can make Diamond Lances without the Diamond Lance aspect equipped, I figured I would throw it in on the list. And finally, we have the Dawn Chorus. This doesn't apply more Scorch like Ember of Ashes, 
but the Scorch you do apply does more damage, so it is great with incandescent weapons. Additionally, if you happen to run Daybreak, then this will allow your Daybreak Blades to deal Scorch, which will result in an ignition on a champ. This isn't the greatest to use for unstoppables, as it requires a whole ass super, but it does work. And just like that, we are done with the exotics that can be used to stun unstoppables. We will now look at weapon perks that can stun unstops. These can roll on legendary weapons, so it gives these weapons a built in way to stun champions. By far the best perk in this category is Chill Clip, and by far the best weapon to have this perk on is the Riptide Fusion Rifle from the Crucible. It rolls on a couple other fusions, but Riptide is a rapid fire frame so it can stack the slow faster than the other fusions. It also rolls on a number of other weapons, so keep your eye out for it. In the background gameplay, you can see it can freeze quite quickly. It is super reliable for stunning unstoppables and even overloads. I made a video on this perk if you want more info, but for unstops it is excellent as you just have to land two fusion shots to freeze the champion, then shatter the ice and you're good to go. From the best champ stunning perk to the worst, we technically should include headstone. If you were able to get a crit on an enemy beside an unstop, it would freeze from the crystal and then stun when shattered. However, this situation is extremely rare and I do not recommend it. I included it here just because it technically can work, and this video is detailing every way to stun an unstoppable. Next, we have another good perk, Incandescent. This applies Scorch stacks as you defeat enemies. I have actually gotten stuns before with this perk on my crafted fixed odds. Fixed odds can chew through adds and cause a lot of Scorch to spread really quickly, which leads to ignitions. It is craftable, so you can get enhanced Incandescent to spread even more Scorch. But overall, like I mentioned with Sunshot, this isn't a very reliable way to stun champions, as they need to be surrounded by adds, but it is possible. And that leads us to the last perk, Cold Steel. To the best of my knowledge, this only rolls on the Zephyr Sword from the Dawning Event, but it is actually really good. It applies stacks of slow on heavy or light attacks. As you can see, it just takes a few hits to get the freeze. The downside is, you have to be up close on an unstop to do this, and unstoppable ogres and abominations have a powerful stomp that will probably just kill you. In lower end content though, this could be a great choice. So those are all the legendary weapon perks that can stun unstoppables, but for high end content, I really only recommend Chill Clip. And now that brings us to abilities. To reiterate, the subclass verbs that can stun unstoppables are Shatter, Ignite, Suspend, and Blind. Shatters are caused by destroying a frozen shield and casing the target, so basically anything from the stasis kit that applies slow or can outright freeze will work. And with ignitions, it is a similar story. Anything that applies scorch will eventually lead to an ignition and a stun, so you'll see lots of scorch stacking to create an ignition. For suspend, it is pretty straightforward, anything that suspends the target will stun it. And then lastly blind, where blinding an unstop will stun it. We'll start with all the ways to stasis freeze. On Titan, there are quite a few different options. You have Howl of the Storm and Diamond Lance for aspects. Your melee can be used in combination with other slow applicators to get a freeze. The Titan Behemoth Super can also freeze targets. All the classes can use cold snaps and glacier grenades for instant freezes, or dusk fields to slow over time and eventually get a freeze. On the Warlock, we have the Stasis Turret to apply slow and freeze from Bleak Watcher. We also have the Penumbral Blast Melee, which can instant freeze. And lastly, the Warlock Super is pretty solid for causing shatters. On Hunter, you can stack slow with Withering Blade Melee and the Slowing Dodge Effect from the Stasis Aspect Winter Shroud. I will also include Shatter Dive on the list. It does not apply slow or freeze, but it does shatter a freeze instantly, and technically it is the shatter that does the stunning. The Revenant Super, Silence, and Squall can also stun an unstoppable champion. If you want to see all these ways to slow and freeze an unstoppable in their entirety, I made a video showing you every ability that can stun a champion, so watch that there. But in the interest of saving you time, I will just quickly be detailing what works so that you have that information. Moving on from there, we have Solar Ignitions. Ignitions are caused by stacking up stacks of Scorch. Ember of Ashes allows you to apply more Scorch stacks anytime you deal Scorch damage, so if you are going for an Ignition build, I always recommend this fragment. On Warlock, placing your Well of Radiance down can apply Scorch. Also, both the Incinerator Snap Melees and Celestial Fire can cause stacks of Scorch, with the Incinerator Snap being quite reliable for causing Ignitions if you land the whole melee. 
Aside from healing grenades, every single grenade can apply stacks of scorch. The Hunter Tripmine build with Young Ahamkara Spine Gauntlets or the Fusion Grenade Warlock build with Starfire Protocol are great for causing grenade based ignitions. Sunbracer's Warlock is also very nasty too. On the Hunter, as mentioned, the Proximity Knife can stack Scorch if Caliban's Hand is equipped, but if not, you can use the Weighted Throwing Knife or Knife Trick Melees to stack Scorch. The Aphidia Spathe Exotic Chest Piece is a pretty slept on exotic as it gives you two melee charges and you get both melees back when you dodge if you're running Gambler's Dodge, so it is great for getting melee based ignitions. For Hunter Aspects, the Gunpowder Gamble is capable of stunning unstoppables. All solar supers on every class can technically cause ignitions if you run Ember of Combustion, where final blows with a solar super cause targets to ignite. So if you are getting kills on adds surrounding an unstoppable, this will stun it. Again, it's a pretty unreliable situation, but it is possible. This will not ignite the champion if you are dealing damage to the champ with your super. It has to get kills beside the champion, causing those enemies to ignite on kill, which will stun the champ. On Titan, the Hammer Strike melee can apply Scorch, as can the Uncharged melee if you have at least one stack of Roaring Flames. Just punch over and over again and eventually it will ignite. Again though, this is very hard to do in endgame content because you'll probably just get stomped and die. The Soul Invictus Sunspots can also apply Scorch, and lastly the most reliable way to stun on Solar Titan is with the Consecration aspect, where as long as you land your melee, you will cause an ignition. Next we have Suspend. This ability is extremely powerful against all combatants, but it is especially good against unstoppables because it can stun them. You can run the fragment Thread of Continuity to get longer suspend time, but beware, they will become unstunned even while hanging in the air, so you may have to keep reapplying the stun. The Titan Super is great for applying suspend. The Drenger's Lash aspect on Titan can stun champs by throwing down your barricade, and the Hunter Aspect and Snaring Slam allows you to consume your dodge with an air move that does a dive bomb onto the enemy and ensnares them. This move is as effective as it is stylish. Next we have Blind from Arc. One of the easiest ways to do this is with a flashbang grenade. This can be used by any class. For melee options, you have the Seismic Strike melee on Titan and the Disorienting Blow on Hunter. Additionally, the Hunter Aspect Lethal Current allows you to blind any jolted target with a melee attack. So you just apply Jolt by any means, and then you can regularly melee them. None of the Arc Supers work to blind a target, though I wish Fists of Havoc did just because it would make that super somewhat viable. We also have Spark of Beacons and Spark of Brilliance, both of which are pretty much useless for getting reliable stuns, but they can technically blind unstoppables so we will include them on the list. So those were all the abilities that we can use to stun champions. As you can see, with it now being tied into our subclasses, it has never been easier to be able to run the loadout that you want to complete Grandmasters, as you could easily beat a GM without any artifact mods now. Speaking of artifact mods, every season we get an artifact with champion stunning mods. This season they are Medieval Champion and Unstoppable Scout. On a primary, all you have to do is aim down sights for a couple seconds and then shoot the Unstoppable with an Unstoppable shot. In the past we have had things like unstoppable shotguns and unstoppable grenade launchers and this season we have unstoppable glaive via the medieval champion mod. So where on primaries you have to aim down sights for a couple seconds, on special weapons it is usually just an instant stun. So let's take a look at things that you think might work but in my testing I found they do not. First up is Tiku's divination. I could see this one being reworked in the future but for now it cannot cause ignitions to stun a champ. Neither can hierarchy of needs or Tommy's matchbook. When the changes to champion stunning were announced, a lot of people thought blinding grenade launchers would be hugely meta, but Bungie changed blinding grenades to disorienting grenades. So just to be sure, I tested them out and as you can see, they do not stun. Next, we have the most egregious example, the Hunter Boots Bombardiers. These literally say in the description, arc dodge blinds targets, and when you do it, you see the little red blind above enemy heads, but it does not cause the champ to stun for some reason. Maybe it is still coated with the old blind effect? I'm really not sure. It also doesn't work with slow effects on overloads, so something weird is going on with them. Hopefully they get them fixed in the future. I also thought more of the Titan melees might work, and the Fist of Havoc super, but at least for now, they do not stun unstoppables. Regardless, as you can see from the infographic I made, we still have a shit ton of ways to stun on stops. But that is going to do it for the video. I hope this video was helpful and informative, and if it was, then a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. As I mentioned before, this video took a ton of work, so if you made it this far, then I'm really appreciative of you watching all the way to the end. Happy champion stunning, and take care.